What's up everybody? Today I am going to show you three amazing ways to embed videos into your WordPress page. The third one being one of my absolute favorite plugins and my favorite way to embed videos on my WordPress page. We're going to start with something nice and simple. We're just simply going to embed a video into a blog post. Firstly, we're going to take a look at where we're going to put the blog post, what it looks like without a blog post and what it looks like with. So this is what it looks like before we've done anything. It's kind of text heavy. It's very blocky. It's been proven that's not particularly good for people just to enjoy reading your blog post or to get the most out of them. It's great to break that kind of information up. So let's do that with a video. And this is what that same page is going to look like once we've embedded a video. You can see if you look down here video in. It's broken up the text. It's a great way of getting a few more views on your YouTube channel. And that is how we did it. And that took me, oh, about 20 seconds. So I'm going to show you how to do it right now. The first thing we need is to be on our WordPress admin dashboard. So let's make sure that we are signed into that. And then we're going to head over to posts because we're adding this to a post. So go in posts and then all posts from here. This here is the post we want to embed the video into. So I'm just going to click on edit. So here we have our post within our block editor, which makes life nice and simple. Where do we want that video? We want to put it just here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just press enter and again to create a break. This is what you want to be looking at the type forward slash to choose a block. Once we've got that, all we need to do is paste in the URL of the video that we want to share. So let's go to YouTube. This is the WP Beginner YouTube homepage. And I want to share this video here, the most common WordPress errors and how to fix them as created by my good friend here, Yuvraj. So let's click here and just share so I can get the URL. There it is. Copy it. Then I'm going to head back over to my block editor and all I have to do here is paste it. I've hit control and V it's pasted in. I didn't have to do anything else at all. From there, I'm going to go across to update and then we can check it out on the blog post. So let's go back into the blog down and you can see that video is right back there. That's what it looks like. And that was super simple. Now, the second way that I'm going to show you is just as easy, but we're, all we're going to do is we're going to use the classic editor instead of using the blocks editor. Now, you might have been using WordPress for quite some time and you're used to the classic editor. You don't want to use any kind of blocks editor, the Gutenberg blocks or anything else. So classic editor is your jam. This will show you how to do that. Or maybe you just want to experiment, see what the classic editor is like. Either way, this is how we're going to do that. Firstly, let's delete that first video that we put in so that we can then add it again. Uh, so to do that, just click on it and hit backspace. That's it. Done. It has now gone and we'll update the page one more time. From here, we're going to head across to a plugin called WP Code. It's this code snippets option down the bottom here. If you want to see how to install a plugin, then definitely check out a video that I'm going to link at the end of this one. If you want to know how to find WP Code, you're just going to go plugins and add new plugin right here. And then we're going to go to search and we're going to search for WP code. There it is. You can see I've already got it installed and active. And like I say, if you want to see how to do that, then do check out our video on how to install a plugin, which I will link at the end of this video. For now, let's go back to code snippets and I'm just going to click on the plugin like that. So WP code with its code snippets is going to let you insert code to get the functionality you want without any of the personal coding, which can be a disaster. So in WP code, what we are looking for is I'm going to type in here classic because what I want to do is I want to use the classic editor and disable the Gutenberg editor. And you can see right here, I have a snippet available for that. So I'm just going to click on use snippet. Here you can see the actual code preview. But as I say, we don't need to worry about that. We don't need to worry about any code. All we have to do is go up to this right hand side and activate the snippet. That's it. Click update. And there we have it. The classic editor is now active and the Gutenberg editor or your blocks editor is disabled. So let's go back across to posts and see what that looks like. 
So into posts and again to all posts. From here, back into that same post again by clicking edit. And you can see this looks very different. This is just what the classic editor looks like. However, the process is actually the same. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down to that same point where I wanted to put the video in, click here, create myself a break. And I'm gonna paste in exactly the same URL, exactly like I did last time. No difference whatsoever. And there you go. It immediately adds that same video in exactly the same way using the classic editor. So now you know how to go to the classic editor and that adding a video is super simple using it. If we check that out on the main page, you can see it's exactly the same. You have that video embedded exactly as you did with the blocks editor. However, this is a simple way of putting individual videos in here and there, and there's not really any extra help. You're not gonna get anything that looks particularly fantastic or showcases your videos in the best possible way. And this is where embedding with this third method really comes into its own. It's why I love it so much. And we are gonna need another plugin. So let's go back in and we are going to go and get a plugin by Smash Balloon. We are looking for the YouTube Feed Pro. So you can see here Smash Balloon caters for Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube that we're gonna use, TikTok, it does reviews. It's a really powerful overall tool uh, that we can use to showcase things in really seamless ways on our websites. So we're gonna go to Get Started. And you can see here, you've got a variety of options and we want the YouTube Feed Pro. So it's gonna click Get Started there. Now Smash Balloon offers an unconditional 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like this or it doesn't work for you, you can basically treat that almost like a free trial. However, I'm telling you that it's great and I'm actually gonna go for the all access bundle. It's gonna give me access to absolutely everything. And what I do wanna show you is obviously this massive discount that's over here, uh, which you can get if you head down into the top pinned comment or into the description where you'll be able to find the best possible price for you to get Smash Balloon, either just the YouTube's feed, any of the feeds, or this all access bundle. So we can see here all the ones that we can download and we are gonna concentrate on YouTube Feed Pro. I'm gonna download that and then I'll show you how to add it to your WordPress site. Back on your WordPress admin dashboard, Smash Balloon is a plugin. So we want to head over to plugins and add new plugin. Now, unlike what we were able to do with WP Code, where we come over here, we search for WP Code, we install and activate it from the WordPress plugins directory. We're gonna to need to do this a different way because Smash Balloon is a paid plugin. So we're gonna go up to the top left here and click on upload plugin. From here, you have two options. You can either just drag and drop your file or what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on choose file and then the file I have just downloaded, just here, the YouTube feed from Smash Balloon. I'm gonna click on that, make sure it is the zip file or the compressed file and open it. And from there, we just click on install now. That's gonna take you through to this installation page here. And all we wanna do is activate the plugin. Do make sure you activate it. Now, if you do fail to activate it or you just miss that section, that's completely fine. Go and check out that how to install a plugin video that I'm talking about. And that will show you how to fix that particular issue as well. So you can see in our plugin section here, we now have feeds for YouTube Pro Elite, which is exactly what we want. And then down in our sidebar just here, we have YouTube feed. So this is the plugin we just installed and we're just gonna click on that. From here, we're gonna add new feed. And then we get to choose what kind of thing we want to add. We can add single videos, that's fine. Uh, playlists, a search, which doesn't even have to be your particular videos. That can just be a search based on your criteria, which comes up with a variety of videos that might be relevant to you. That's quite a powerful tool. Your live streams can go on there as well. And, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna select the channel. I wanna showcase the WP Beginner channel here. Next up is gonna ask you for your channel ID or username. Now, this is really easy. It's the bit at the end of your YouTube channel. Now, for example, for us, we are WP Beginner. So we're youtube.com forward slash at WP Beginner. So I can just add here at WP Beginner and click next. And it will automatically find our YouTube channel. And you can see it's immediately giving me a preview of what the page could look like showcasing 
all of our videos. Now this is fairly standard and I don't particularly love this layout myself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come over to templates here and I'm just gonna change from the default template to the gallery template. Now you can see you've got many, many options. I find that if you're posting into a blog, the carousel is actually the most beneficial. However, we're gonna create an entirely new page and I want the gallery because I want the gallery to be shown at the very top. So it has one video that is the focal point, it's your most recent one, and then everything else falling underneath it. I'll show you it now. So this is the gallery view, exactly as I explained. You've got the big focus here, that one main video. And then if you look underneath, you have all of your other videos. There's a couple of different subscribe buttons there, which I find really handy. And then as you load more, it's just gonna continually load all the videos that you've put up in chronological order. And it's just an amazing option to have this on your WordPress site because the maintenance is nil. You upload a new video, this will automatically upload. I don't have to be chasing around updating maybe blog articles or different bits and pieces with, oh, here's my YouTube channel. I can just show everything in one place nice and easily. We're going to go ahead and save this. And that's essentially your feed made. However, we need to actually show this on our website, of course. So we also need to create a page. So we're going to come over here to pages and we're going to add new page. Now you can see here, this is actually still giving us the old classic editor. Now I don't want to edit this in the old classic editor. I want to do it in the new blocks editor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back down to code snippets here. And then just as easy as it was to add that code snippet from WP code to disable the Gutenberg editor, it's actually easier to remove it. So we can come over here, you see where it says status. We just turn it off and that will remove the classic editor and put us back onto our blocks editor. So let's come over now and go back to pages and add new page again. And you can see we have the blocks editor back, which we absolutely love. Now, the easiest thing to do here is obviously to add our YouTube feed that we just made. So firstly, let's give ourselves a title, YouTube videos, nice and straightforward. And then down here, again, we've got that same type forward slash to choose a block section. And that's fine, that's exactly what we're looking for. So what we're gonna do is go all the way to this black plus icon just here. This is the key to what we want. So we're gonna add a block, that's what this does. Now we can see here that we have a few options available and one of them is exactly what we're looking for. It's feeds for YouTube. If you can't see that in the search bar, just type in YouTube. Now you have the YouTube option, but that's a singular video embed. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for feeds for YouTube. So we're gonna click there and you don't have to do anything else. That is it. It has added the whole page, the whole feed to the page so that you can see exactly what it's gonna look like. It's that easy. And then I'm just gonna hit, hit publish so that we can have a look at it as an actual page. And there it is. I really, really love this particular plugin. It saves me so much time and it, it might just be my favorite. I really enjoy it just for how easy it makes my life. If you did wanna see that video I mentioned on how to install a plugin, then click the video that's on screen right now.